We all know this classic nursery rhyme, but what many don't know is that the beat of this song can also be a lifesaver when it comes to restoring a heartbeat. Mike Nealon suffered a cardiac arrest in 2009 while working out with a friend. He was later announced dead for seven minutes and now lives to tell his story. My good friend just happened to look in there to see me and I was on the ground. And um, he kind of, from what he's told me, he kind of nudged me and I didn't move and I was blue. Neelan is one of 500 people who've benefited from this chest compression research by UT Southwestern Medical Center professor Ahmed Idris. A chest compression rate between 100 and 120 per minute actually improves survival of people, survival to leave the hospital alive, uh, which is really what we aim for. The study showed the average chest compression rate was about 15 beats higher, meaning that paramedics were going too fast. Paramedics in Dallas, Irving, Mesquite, and Carrollton were then retrained and distributed metronomes to help keep a beat of 100 per minute and the beat of row, row, row your boat falls right into that range. You can't go faster than 110 singing row, row, row your boat. You can't sing it at 120 per minute. That's, you, you'd, you'd realize that that's way, way too fast. Paramedic Brad London says when he's out on the field, an adrenaline rush kicks in and the metronome has been a big help in maintaining the steady beat. The metronome's always there to tell you this is your beat, stay on it. You can vary just a little bit, but as long as you stay right here, you're going to have the best results. The best results, it's right. And Mike Nealon is the living proof of that and encourages more people to take a CPR course. That would be beneficial for anybody because uh, uh, the people that worked on me, they saved my life and they did CPR. And I wouldn't be here talking about it if, if CPR wasn't used on me. Daisy Silos, CW33.